guys so today I have a dentist appointment for my braces adjustment and by the way if you go to the Philippines and notice why adults have braces in the Philippines and you might be wondering why Filipinos get braces once they're already adult so today I have prepared a list of questions related to my braces treatment as well as how things work with the dentist in the Philippines and in Czechia I actually traveled um, at least two hours for me to get to my dentist. It's far from where I lived, but it's near from where Cuba was born. So after I got from the bus, I needed to walk at least 10 minutes climbing to the mountain just to get to my dentist. So now I am already with my dentist. I'm not sure if I can take video, but let's see. So it's funny how I traveled at least two hours all in all just to get to the dentist. When I arrived to my dentist, they only have me for five minutes and that's all. I just finished there and they changed the brackets as well as the color or they changed the bra- no, they changed the wiring and the color of my um, brace but since the dentist clinic is near the castle, I would like to visit the castle just for the meantime so I know I have shown this castle so many times before but I'd like to show you guys I'm gonna do my trip alone without Jacob because he's working at this time and I never get bored on it it's so nice the structures at outside is so nice Just taking the video alone and people are looking. <laughs> it's yes, Radets Nad Maravitsis castle and I would say that the most beautiful um, scenic picture of this one is this. So it's so nice where plants are all around. It's summer right now already and I was here during winter. I was here during autumn and I was here during spring so the four seasons are complete this time. As a Filipino who used to wearing slippers way back then when I was in the Philippines, I only learned wearing shoes when I came here in Czechia because of the, of the winter but now since summer I'm taking the opportunity to wear slippers. So before I came here I was in the house and I was really thinking if what I would wear if I will wear shoes or if I'm gonna wear slippers but if I'm gonna wear shoes it will be hard for me because it's too hot so my feet will be sweating so I decided I'm gonna wear slippers but then I'm kind of shy when I wear slippers because I'm not sure why people are looking at my feet so I am really curious why if it looks horrible for Czechs or maybe Europeans to see someone wearing slippers. That's why they're really looking at my feet. And I'm really wondering why. Why is it they are looking on my feet? Is it my feet looks horrible or it might be weird for them? So I would really like to ask an answer for that actually. What's the reason? Because everywhere I am, they're looking at my face, then they're looking at my feet, <laughs> and I'm like laughing after that. So, oh, it's so weird. Why are they looking at my feet all the time? Even if I am in the tram, or if I can like pass someone, and it's horrible for me. So, I'm really not confident when I'm wearing sleepers here. But now, I wear a sleeper sandal, it's more comfortable for me. So right now guys, I'm walking back, but I am still thinking if I am gonna go immediately to home or if I'm gonna go somewhere. It's already 2 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch because my dentist was at 1 and I'm kind of hungry right now and I'm very thirsty as well because I decided not to drink water because i will be peeing and it would be very hard for me to find a toilet so 
I drank water earlier at 8. Now I am very thirsty, hungry as well. So I'm gonna look for somewhere. And by the way, it's just um, near. If I'm gonna walk, go to uh, Jacob's house, it's only 30 minutes walking away from here. But I'm not really sure if someone is at home. So maybe his parents are all working. So I don't have a key as well there. So I'm really stuck right now if where I am going. But first I need to find a store where I can buy some foods and water for me. And good thing, there is a store nearby, I guess. Let's see if it's a store or not. I'm not sure yet. Oh here. There's a store. Uh Tutti. The name of the store is Tutti. <laughs> that sounds very weird for me. Tutti Putravini. Tutti. I guess it's like kid because there's a kid sign, but Tutti in the Philippines seems like Tuta means puppy. So I'm gonna buy something here, guys. I'm hungry. It's easier for me to buy something because I only know a few words and I will just say Dubri then Kartu Persim. <laughs> That's all. I would just say good day. I would like to pay through a card and they will already understand. And if they're gonna try to talk to me and I will just reply, Nerezumim Cheski, I don't understand Czech. And they will go, their face will like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm already confident buying in a store alone by myself. And it's nice though. So, and I guess I'm gonna buy the small one, just the small water. And I'm gonna find some bread. I'm gonna pay now. I have to find my card. Oh, I'm finished. Um, I finished buying from the store I guess I'm gonna go home for now and I'm gonna show you those I'm gonna have those questions discussed with you guys and then for now I have to check my bus going to the train station I hope there will be a bus immediately right now at 2.05 there is so I need to hurry no, it's not. 2.14 p.m. The train is 2.05, so there's two options, so I can go there, bus and train. But I don't want to go by train because I need to walk, I think, 15 minutes to get to the train station. But if it's in a bus, it's just 5 minutes away from here. That's 2.14 p.m., so I have a lot of time. I'm already in the bus station. I have 15 minutes, so I'm gonna eat lunch. train right now but one seven a Stravas Vini So guys I arrived home and Kuba just arrived as well cooking now for lunch and I'm so happy that I was able to arrive home safely it's because well, while I was going home by train, there were two guys approached me because I was having a hard time finding seats because of 
so many passengers and it took me two minutes to find to seek for some seats so two guys called me and they said Holkapani, Poitadi, that means beautiful lady come here and they were like doing this to sit Poitadi, Poitadi and I was so scared because they look like they're forcing me to sit with them and even if I ignored them already one guy is still calling me and shouting like Poitadi, Poitadi like why is he acting so inappropriate and so weird and I was already overthinking what if I'm, I'm gonna go down by the train if I'm gonna go down from the train they're gonna chase me or do something bad to me and i was so, so scared earlier and overthinking so much what could happen to me after but though you know Czechia is one of the safest countries but still there are crazy people so here's the question why do filipinos get braces once they're already adult actually the answer for that is because it is expensive it's not really common for you to see kids wearing braces in the Philippines. Most of them are adults. For us Filipinos, getting braces is very expensive. Costs for that, if you're going to have a treatment, upper and lower teeth, you're going to pay at least 50,000 to 60,000 pesos. However, there are dentists as well that they don't need the full payment, but they're going to accept installments so at first you're going to give them a down payment which is 20,000 pesos and the rest is you're going to pay it monthly during your adjustment appointment so that's commonly that's the case of what the dentists are doing in the philippines but for us filipinos even if they're already giving that kind of privilege to us helping us to maybe fix our tea uh helping us to maybe be able to get a treatment but but for Filipinos, it's so expensive and the money is enough to pay for our bills. However, there are also kind of toxic mindset about this kind of getting braces. Not all braces are given by the dentist. Some of them are given by a dentist quack. We call it dentist quack. There are people who are giving imitations or doing imitations of braces and they're gonna put it in your feet as a fashion though those people who are getting those kind of fashion braces or fake braces knew what would be the result in the future they're still going to get that because of beauty fashion and for people who are going to get braces that could also mean about your uh, wealth wealth or level as a person so if you're having braces, some toxic mentality that you are rich or you can afford this kind of stuff and you're lucky to have that. But in my case, I did not get braces because of fashion or whatsoever. I wanted to get it since since then because of my insecurity. We have this kind of malnutrition problem in my family. My father had it. I really wanted to get it to fix my teeth, to fix my malnutrition. I also had an underbite problem before. So when I started working to before, I started um, saving a lot every month for me to be able to get treatment from my dentist. And so I got my braces two years ago in the Philippines. And I was also very lucky because my dentist only asked 10,000 pesos for both treatment for the upper and lower teeth. And then so I had to pay her 1,500 per month. And we had this kind of contract that we are going to pay it at least three years. But then but then since I transferred here, I did not continue my treatment in the Philippines. And so I asked my dentist that time and then she said it was fine and there's no need for me to pay the whole price. So when I transferred here, it actually took me so many months to find a doctor or to find a dentist because so many dental clinics are already fully booked and they don't want to accept new patients anymore especially i'm a foreigner and especially i don't speak czech so they're really going to refuse you or me because of la language barrier so it took us a lot of time for us to find a doctor and it was a good thing that we were able to find a very kind doctor that she accepted me even if they're already fully booked so she really helped me a lot knowing that my teeth was very horrible a few months ago there if you notice that i had a lot of spaces in my teeth in my upper teeth and i also had spaces in my lower teeth so 
because of her kindness, she decided to treat me and up until now, I am very lucky for that. So for those foreigners who are planning to transfer here in Czechia and they're still going to have to continue their dental treatment or braces treatment, I would recommend that it's better for you to get paperwork from your current dentist and hand it over to your dentist here because that also happened in my case but since I didn't have those kind of paperwork but then my dentist already knew what she would do with my teeth based on what she can see and based on the x-ray as well there was no problem with paperwork and so paperwork can also help uh, tracking everything and what would be the next step that your dentist is going to to treat you and for those foreigners as well uh, for your information, foreigners are going to get their insurance in VZP company. All foreigners have to go there to get the insurance. You don't have work, you're going to pay it like monthly. I mean self-contribution for four months, you're going to buy it. VZP insurance company also provides English speaking doctors. So if you have questions with that, if you're going to seek for uh, doctors who can speak English, you can just call the customer service and ask list, lists from them and they're going to help you. However, it's not guaranteed that you can really get a doctor easily because you know, they locked medical staff and there are so many patients that most of the clinics are already fully booked. So it's so hard to get a doctor here based on my experience. It also took me a lot of months for me to be able to find a doctor and I experienced a lot of your refusals as well. It was advantage in my case that it's also very easier for those foreigners who have a Czech family here in Czechia because that means you can really get a doctor easily. Or if you're a person who works here and doesn't know anyone, it's maybe better. I think it would be a lot for you to get a doctor, honestly. Because in my case, even if I had Jacob with me, still took me a lot of months for me to be able to find a doctor here in Czechia. And also for my dentist treatment, it happens after a month or after two months, depends on the dentist schedule. I'm actually paying every appointment with the dentist. For me, it's so affordable. It's not so expensive and I'm so lucky for that. However, it happened already three appointments that I did not pay anything because they only changed the rubbers or elastics in my braces and that's that's all the thing they needed to do for now because they wanted to close this gap finally. And it's still not closed yet. So I think on in my next appointment, I will be able to pay something again. And if you guys are wondering if my... And if you guys are wondering if my treatment will be finished once I'm coming back home to the Philippines. Actually, the answer is no one knows. I already talked to my dentist a few months ago regarding with this one. If she would be able to finish my treatment in January. Because I'm coming back home to the Philippines. And she told me that she doesn't know yet because... It depends on my teeth so that means if I won't be able to finish my treatment here I have to do the paperwork process again and find another dentist in the full piece so that sounds very hassle and it is actually but I don't have a choice because I need to fix my teeth and I need to finish this one that's all for today guys and I hope this video is helpful or informative for you if you have questions you can write it in the comment section and thank you so much for tuning in see you again next time bye